52-51. Here we go. Hunters Lane inbounding now. They got to have a quick shot. Four seconds remain. And Brentwood trying to hang on with a one-point lead. So here it is. This will be Daniel inbounding for Hunters Lane. And the count is on. Now here's Billy Hughes. Hughes a long three-pointer. No good. It's over. Whistle blows with one second. And a pushing foul is going to be called underneath on Hunters Lane, I believe, Isaac Harris. And Brentwood might be able to start celebrating. They'll be going to the free throw line now with one second on the clock. It's 21, but it's still not over. Even makes a free throw. Is that? Got it. 54-51 now. One second on the clock. Here's Kennard from the end zone. Long pass down court. Will Jones has it. The game is over. Brentwood is the region's sixth 3A champion for the first time since 1995, and they'll be at home set on Monday night for the sectional. 54-51 as the Brentwood faithful celebrate, and why not? The players on the court, as both teams now shake hands, what an outstanding basketball game, Stormy Mitchell. 54-51, the Bruins will have a home game on Monday night. We had some great spirit at VHS this year. Never was it better than at the thrilling victory over our longtime rivals, Franklin. My name is Joe LaFerro, I'm with Brentwood Journal newspaper. With me tonight is Brentwood High School coach Dennis King. Coach King and his Brentwood Bruins just slipped by Franklin, 67 to 65 in overtime tonight. Coach King, can you explain what happened at the end? Well, uh, we're down 10 points, I don't know exactly what point, and it, and it looked hopeless, but we had some boys on that floor tonight that refused to lose. And Stephen Klein hit some big shots, and uh, Reed Thompson came in and hit some big shots, and it was just an exhibition of guts and heart. Like, and I've been associated with high school basketball as a head coach for 19 years. This is one of the most unbelievable and satisfying wins in my career.